Imagine, you come home from school, a long, boring banal day, you and your siblings dashing to take off your clothes until you are disturbed by the sounds. Ella, Ella, come downstairs and wash the plates. Okay, put your hand up if you've ever heard the words, if you cannot cook and clean, your husband's people will chase you away. Or, you will not find a husband. <laughs> Patriarchy to me is the disproportionate power men hold in society that subjugates women. In analogical terms, it is the understanding that as long as you know what cupboard the pounded jam is in and how the stove works to cook it, you as a woman have done your role. <laughs> and society has actively and passively taught us to accept this. So today, patriarchy holds its threatening hand over culture. Now, I can only speak from my experience, and I am so proud of so many aspects of my Nigerian culture. But recently, I went to a meeting where we discussed the upcoming preparations for a party. And one uncle marched to the front and had the confidence to say, eh, the men will buy the drinks because men are not supposed to go near the stove. And every single person bursted out in laughter. Looking back, I don't know what was more funny. <laughs> the bigotry of the comment, or the fact that women failed to realise the ignorance being passed, that they too joined in that laughter. Because that to me is a warning, a red flag, an epiphany, that something needs to be done and soon. Because the problem is, there are so many other issues in the world, such as the environmental crisis, but the patterns of domination and submission that we uphold in the household extend to how we treat the world around us. So how can we solve or even tackle these issues when we fail to solve the very own injustices we face every single day between mother and father, daughter and son, brother and sister? So I, Emanuela Atupe, am here today as advocate for the likes of Emily Davidson and all those who struggled hard and died to progress society? Do we not owe them the responsibility, the torch, the burden to carry on and challenge those microaggressions that hinders the prospects of an even slightly better world? Just like Emily Davidson said, I am no longer accepting the things I cannot change. I am changing the things I no longer accept.